ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਬੈਕ ਲੈਵਲ 3 ਏ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਵਰਕ ਔਨ ਪੀਐਸਆਰ ਰੀਡਰ 3 ਏ ਲਾਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਵੀ ਲਰਨਡ ਏ ਟੋਨਲ ਲੈਟਰ ਕਗਾ ਐਂਡ ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਲਰਨ ਅਨਦਰ ਟੋਨਲ ਲੈਟਰ ਨਾ ਟੋਨਲ ਲੈਟਰਸ ਯੂ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਆਰ ਦ ਲੈਟਰਸ ਥੈਟ ਮੇਕ two different sounds depending on where they come if they come in the beginning of a word or uh, they make a different sound if they come in the middle or end of a word they make a different sound and your standard is that you will know the sounds of all the letters that you will be able to read poems and passages or stories and this is the letter chajja we are going to learn chajja so chajja makes two sounds to here um chajja when used in the beginning of a word it makes a sound ch like in chanda if you say chanda you hear the ch sound right now chajja makes a sound j when you use in the middle or end of a word jaja in koja we write chajja but we say j right so it's a little a uh, in there uh, it's a little inflection in there so that's what you need to remember that chajja uh jaja is like a simpler softer sound but ch is it adds um a little a uh in there okay and that's the beauty of punjabi is just like the x in english it makes two different sounds just like we have the five tonal letters okay so this is a short poem with chajja words in it and it tells you the chajja sounds chajja kanda cha janja chajja kanda cha janja chat vich chacha majj vich jajja ikko akhar do awaza chache jajje da mel hai chajja okay say the poem with me chajja kanda cha janja chajja kanda cha jajja chat vich chacha majj vich jajja ikko akhar do awaza chache jajje da mel hai chajja later on you are going to circle the chajja words in it and you are going to copy the poem in it okay the story with the letter chajja is short one and there are lots of chajja words in it i try to make sure that there are lots of chajja words in it so you get practice of reading them you practice of identifying them and learn the meanings of those words and your standard is that you can read short poems and stories and passages okay so uh ek kahani padange assi fir is vich sare chajja shabd lab ke gol chakkar banaoge the odena thodi letter id ho jayegi theek hai and there are some tricky words in this story um and they have dia at the end um a uh, sound is spelled with ada kanna right so let's read these words so you will have no problem when you're reading it by yourself this one is tardiya means swim plural swim jandiya jandiya means go khandiya means eat pindiya drink nahaundiya take bath or take shower and aundiya means come okay aundiya jandiya khandiya pindiya pind de bahar ek choti chil si listen to me first then um, you can read yourself pind de bahar ek choti chil si chil de aase paase chaadiyan san chil vich batkan tardiya ਚਾੜੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਪਿੱਛੋਂ 8-10 ਮੱਝਾਂ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਝੁੰਡ ਰੋਜ਼ ਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਉਹ ਚਾੜੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਪੱਤੇ ਖਾਂਦੀਆਂ ਫਿਰ ਝੀਲ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਪਾਣੀ ਪੀਂਦੀਆਂ ਫਿਰ ਪਾਣੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੜ ਕੇ ਨਹਾਉਂਦੀਆਂ ਕੁਝ ਝੋਟੇ ਵੀ ਆ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਮੱਝਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵੱਲ ਮੂੰਹ ਚੁੱਕ ਕੇ ਦੇਖਦੀਆਂ ਝੋਟੇ ਚੁੱਪ ਚਾਪ ਉੱਥੋਂ ਲੰਘ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਜਦ ਸੂਰਜ ਡੁੱਬ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਝਟਪਟ ਝੀਲ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਆਉਂਦੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਚਲੀਆਂ ਜਾਂਦੀਆਂ ਸੋ ਇਟਸ ਜਸਟ ਅ ਸਿਲੀ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਇਟਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਅ ਅ ਹਰਡ ਆਫ ਬਫਲੋਸ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਕਮ ਟੂ ਅ ਲੇਕ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਈਟ ਅਮ ਲੀਵਸ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਬੁਸ਼ਸ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਗੋ ਇਨ ਦ ਇਨ ਦ ਇਨ ਦ ਲੇਕ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਅ ਬਾਥ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਆਲਸੋ ਡਕਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਬਾਥ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਨ देयर ਯੂਸ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਸਮ ਬੁਲਸ ਥੈਟ ਵੁਡ ਕਮ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਬਫਲੋਸ ਵੁਡ ਜਸਟ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਥੈਮ ਸਟੇਅਰ ਐਟ ਥੈਮ and then when the sun went down sun at uh, dusk they would come out of the chill uh, lake and they would go home so it's a basically a, a, a practice for reading the chajja words but there are many good words in there 
Now, I want to teach you a grammar point today. Preposition. You know prepositions in India, they're called postpositions. Now, they tell where the things are in relation to other things. Okay? Ase pase. Ase pase means around. Apne ase pase deko, look around. Uh, Vicho means from inside. Picho means from behind. What other prepositions do you know? On means utte, right? Mera hath kitab de utte hai, right? Mera hath kitab de thalle hai. Mera hath kitab de upper hai. Mera hath kitab de passe te hai, right? Ase passe would be all around, right? So those are called prepositions. And those are good words to know because you need them uh, to describe where things are. And one part of speech here is adverbs. You know, adverbs tell you how the action is done. So in this story, we read one adverb. It is called chatpat. So can you find chatpat? Here's chatpat. Chat means, but means quickly, fast. Okay. And that's an adverb. Adverbs tell you how things are done. And adjectives tell you um, how things are. Right, like my chunni is pili, right? Pili kitab, pili chunni. Whenever I teach you a lesson, you notice that I use pili chunni so that you know that this is a level three lesson. Okay, so now um, for exercise, you're going to read these questions. They are in English. You should be able to understand them. And here are some questions in Punjabi and English. You should be able to answer them by looking at the story. And here are some vocabulary words with chaja. Now, all of them are not in your story, but it's important that you read them and you learn them. So, um, let me quickly tell you chaja chatpat, chaja maj, chaja majja. One maj, one buffalo, majja means more buffaloes. Chaja chil, chil is a lake, chaja chila, more lakes. Chaja chag, chag is froth. So, um, you, when you wash your hands with soap, to see chag banandiyo, right? Chag banandiyo de nal. Chaja chanda, chanda is flag. Chaja chagda means fight, quarrel, to fight with somebody. Chagda nahi karna chahi da sanu, right? Chaja kuj, mene sam. Chaja koja, koja means ugly. Chaja koji, koji means ugly, means she ugly. Koje means they. They like, like masculine and kojia is like they women or girls or females, feminine. Chaja chalar, chalar is a frill. Some uh, clothes have frills around them. Chaja uh, chanjar is an anklet. Chaja chat means chat marni to look at the window de which you can see chat marni, right? Chat marni, right? Chajja chote are bulls. So these are some of the words with the chajja. See how many words we found with the chajja. So make sure you write them a few times and that will help you become good reader in Punjabi because you will find these words at some point. So this was our lesson number uh, 19. So um, thank you so much for working with me and we will work again on the next lesson. Until then, make sure you read Punjabi seven minutes a day at least. Um, read a few lines, uh, copy a few lines, write a few words, and make sure you speak Punjabi. Vaheguru Ji ka khalsa, Vaheguru Ji ki fateh.